We have an emergency update to talk about in the crypto market today because the CEO of Multichain has went missing right now. There is lots of money at stake. Has he been arrested in the city of Shanghai in China? Have the police got them locked up? We're going to be talking about that, what it means to your crypto portfolio. Plus, we also have some other emergency updates to talk about. So Binance, is it potentially laying off people right now? We'll be talking about that. Plus, the IRS coming for your crypto records. And then at the end, we're going to talk about the crypto prices shib pepe terra luna classic how are they doing over on the crypto market right now so if you guys like these monster updates make sure to hit the thumbs up button as always not financial advice let's get straight into the video so the big story that has broken today that you do need to be aware of because it does impact some services in the crypto market is this one so it's multi-chain team cannot locate ceo halt service for affected chains so cross-chain services are suspended for keck chain public mint dino chain red light chain dexit ecta hbb onus omac Fedora and Plank. So a bunch of crypto chains have been uh, suspended right now. And uh, what's happened is uh, multi-chain. So if you guys do not know about multi-chain, what this is, you can actually swap, you know, crypto from chain to chain. I've actually used this multiple times. Very, very helpful, but I wouldn't be using it today. I wouldn't be using it right now because of these breaking developments. So what you can do with this though, is you can actually bridge your tokens across different chains. If you wanted to send it from Binance Smart Chain to Ethereum, you connect your wallet and you can uh, go through with that transaction costs a bit of money but it's very very helpful if you don't want to use a centralized exchange so i've used it multiple times before i like the service but right now there is a red alert going off about this because what has happened is they are saying where people are reporting there are rumors out there that the protocol's leadership may have been arrested in china amid ongoing technical issues so people are saying shanghai china the team potentially arrested by the police not good to hear that you can see the tweet put over here by ox fleet it's rumored that the multi-chain team has been arrested by the chinese police with 1.5 billion dollars of contract funds under control and some team members transferred 494,200 multi-tokens from team addresses to gate io today be aware of the risks so you know gate io potentially people are saying it's involved i'm not making any allegations right here i'm just reporting the news as i see it to keep you guys fully up to date right here but gate io is denying there's liquidity problems problems after multi-chain CEO has went missing. So some people are pointing out, you know, there's transactions, large inflows of multi and phantom to gate.io leading them to perceive a connection between the two organizations and gate.io right here is saying the operations are running healthy and that it's focused on establishing an affiliate trading platform in hong kong called gate.hk but basically huge things are happening right there and you can see the tweet right here from arkham which basically tracks a lot of you know the big transactions in the crypto space team wallet movements what's happening with gate.io there is a lot of uh, speculation happening and if we actually go to some primary sources right now, so let's go straight to what multi-chain is saying. So let's bring up this tweet. It says here, in the past two days, the multi-chain protocol has experienced multiple issues due to unforeseeable uh, circumstances. The team has done everything possible to maintain the protocol running, but we are currently unable to contact CEO Zhao Jun and obtain the necessary server access for maintenance. So that is where, you know, the big speculation about this guy getting arrested in Shanghai by the police. That is what people are speculating right now. And if we follow on right here, it says this afternoon, there was an issue with the scanning node network of Router5, which has affected the normal cross-chain service of some chains. Furthermore, this problem is beyond the team's current permissions and ability. In order to protect the interests of our users, we have decided to suspend the corresponding cross-chain service for the affected chain on the UI. Last week, that same issue happened on Router2. We appreciate that users' understandings and requests that our partners stop directly calling the multi-chain protocol smart contracts on to the affected chains for the cross-chain operations and they are the big chains that are impacted right now so absolutely red light chain so guys red light red alert going off right now uh you know people are saying gate io they're saying multi-chain so what would i be doing personally in the crypto market right now i'll be holding off on now uh, using multi-chain at all so i wouldn't be using this until the dust settles and uh, hopefully gate io is 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 okay i don't personally use gate io i know it's a crypto exchange out there that lots of people use hopefully that one is okay 
play, but it's just something you have to be aware of in the crypto market. So always remember in crypto, you know, you do want to stay up to date with some of this news because you, you might be someone impacted by this. I don't know. But just being aware of the big crypto news is important because this stuff does happen very, very rapidly. Also, we have big reports coming in about Binance. You guys know we've been talking about Binance, you know, getting kicked out of the UK, Australia, uh, Canada. Uh, Binance begins layoffs, work offs, workforce to drop by 20% in June. So that is what this report is saying right here. So layoffs at Binance, some people are saying 20%. And you can see right here, transaction volume has decreased, but it's also decreased a lot across a lot of the crypto exchanges as well. And, uh, you know, in my opinion, you know, we're in a little bit of a crypto winter, but I personally think those people who stick it out in the crypto winter, they're the ones who reap the big rewards when the crypto summer comes back around. So we have seen decreases increases in uh, exchange trading volume right now. And uh, you know, what does CZ say about this? So let's let's provide a fair and balanced point of view. So what does CZ out of Binance say about this? He says, for another day, another FUD on rumors of layoffs, Binance has a bottom out. We should probably rename it to something else program. We constantly say goodbye to people who are not strong fits with the company. Many of them are great people or high performers, but may not fit our unique culture situation. Example, work from home. This program is constant. I push for it on a weekly basis. There are no percentage of people we have to push out. I also push for cost cutting servers, flights, meals, etc. every week too. This may be why. Binance has stayed profitable since month four of our inceptions from October 2017 onwards through two crypto winters. Binance has maintained profitability on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. We always strive to increase talent density. We do performance management and we are still hiring right there. So CZ fires back right there. And what do I think of this? So I think, you know, obviously they would be letting people go in uh, such places as Canada, the UK, Australia, you know, if they're shutting down services. So that makes a lot of sense in my opinion it's just a shame that they are exiting out of those regions because again i personally you know binance is one of my favorite crypto exchanges but you know if it's not operating in your jurisdiction you can't really use it so it's a real shame that it is getting kicked out of some jurisdictions but this is just the way the crypto you know game of thrones political things behind the scenes work in the crypto space and also into some very other important news so if you are trading crypto in the usa there has been a big uh, court case right now regarding the IRS. So, you know, Coinbase user James Harper tried to argue that the IRS violated his fourth and fifth amendments rights. And then now the IRS can access your Coinbase trade records. Joe Do John Doe summons valid. So guys, there has been a big uh, court case in the US. So the US District Court of New Hampshire ruled in favor of the IRS, ruling that John Doe summons do not violate US constitutional rights. The ruling claimed that private citizens are not allowed to sue the IRS for suspected tax violations. So they basically confirmed that the, the IRS holds the authority to demand user database from Coinbase and probably, you know, other crypto exchanges out there. So this guy was trading crypto back in 2013, 2014. So what a great time to be in the crypto market, you know, buying up Bitcoin cheap. This guy's probably a millionaire by now. And uh, the IRS basically said this guy hasn't been, you know, reporting his crypto trades. And this is ages ago. So that is like 10 years ago. Wow, that is a long period of time. And uh, looks like they've done someone else as well. So it looks, it also looks like right here, they've authorized the IRS to issue a summons to NYC Safra Bank in an effort to identify US taxpayers who might have failed to fully report their cryptocurrency transactions. So guys, IRS getting the powers and this doesn't surprise me at all. So I have told you guys, you know, the IRS, the government, they love taxing people. They love taxing money. And just because you're trading it on a centralized exchange, you know, if you think they're not going to find out about it, honestly, I think they will. That's why I always, I personally report all my crypto trades and profits. That's something I do, but uh, you know, I would, I would definitely be looking to comply with the local laws. One thing Thing that we do know about crypto though it, it is pretty complicated to you know do this especially if you're doing DeFi stuff but if you guys want a free account this is what I use. So coin tracking. Okay, so you can get a free account right here. If you're only using one crypto exchange to do your trades, it makes your crypto tax uh, a lot easier. But if you do um, sign up for a free account, they have tiers and you can get help to help you with your crypto tra uh, with your crypto tax right there. And uh, something else I use with these guys is if you get the premium option, you can actually import APIs to automatically track all your trades. So if you are just using one exchange, this thing can do it all automatically. Where is it? 
Coinbase. It's got a Coinbase one right there if you're using Coinbase, but it has tons of crypto exchanges. But I'll leave a link to that. Supports the channel if you guys want to check it out. But definitely, you know, I'm not surprised the IRS is coming for people's crypto trades. It doesn't surprise me at all. Also, some other huge news. Look at that. So that is the US national debt over time. And it's absolutely mooning, but it's mooning in the wrong way, guys, because we are up to huge amounts of uh, money right here. And you guys know what that means. It just means more and more inflation. So the government loves to tax. It loves to spend money. It's absolutely out of control, in my opinion. And with that, is crypto providing a good solution? I think it is. So guys, what is the Bitcoin price doing today? And you can see over the long term, you know, if you're getting into the crypto market early, like this guy who got out caught by the IRS, he was buying Bitcoin was 100 bucks. And uh, potentially he's made a lot of money right there. But again, long term crypto, this is what I'm thinking. So I think in the long term, crypto has massive potential. Personally, we have got up to highs in the past with Bitcoin. I think it was around $67,000, $68,000. But guys, five, 10 years from now, where could the Bitcoin price be? I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the six digits, okay? I wouldn't be surprised at all. But I'm staying bullish on uh, Bitcoin. If we check, check, check out some of the other crypto prices today, you can see Bitcoin down slightly. So what does that mean? It means the rest of the crypto market is going to to be down slightly today so a bit so a few retracements you know xrp retracing slightly what is ship doing today so ship holding on steady i really like ship in you the crypto big utility big community one to definitely watch out for in 2023 let's scroll down and see how pepe is doing so pepe sitting at number 85 so we might have we'll probably have some more updates about pepe coming up on the channel and uh terra luna classic sitting at number 91 as well but they are the crypto prices today if you guys enjoyed this big uh, emergency update make sure to hit the thumbs up button we'll stay up to date with what with what happens with gate.io and uh, also multi-chain but that's what you need to know on the crypto market thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one crypto zeus signing out